This allergy to meat, including beef, lamb, and pork, tonight is linked to its first death. A 47-year-old New Jersey man ate a burger in 2024 and died four hours later. Two weeks earlier, he got sick after eating a steak. It really illustrates the need for education because when he had the very severe episode of abdominal pain, they had no sense that that could be anaphylaxis. University of Virginia's Dr. Thomas Platts Mills identified the death and the allergy behind it. It's called alpha-gal syndrome. It usually starts with a bite from a Lone Star tick that sensitizes a person's immune system to a sugar molecule found in the meat of mammals called alpha-gal. Reactions can include hives, nausea, and life-threatening anaphylaxis. Debbie Nickel lives with alpha-gal. I would wake up in the middle of the night with this extraordinary stomach pain. One of 450,000 Americans with the tick-induced meat allergy. From the time of onset to my diagnosis in 2019, it was probably 11 or 12 years. And your doctor even went so far as to remove your gallbladder? That's correct. Alpha-gal is managed with diet avoiding meat as well as dairy and lard from those sources, and ticks. I still go out and hike. I still eat really, really well, even if it means I don't consume beef or pork or dairy. It's a challenging lifestyle, but there are ways to find joy. Ann Thompson joins us now live in studio, and our viewers are going to have a lot of questions about mm -hmm. this. So are these ticks all over the country? Increasingly so, Tom. This problem used to be centered in the southeastern part of the United States. But as winters have warmed and the deers that carry these ticks multiply, alpha-gal is now found in the north, northeast, and west as well. All right, Ann, thanks for taking, telling us about that one. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.